This tutorial addresses how to create milestones in Microsoft Project 2007. Now remember that a milestone is a, uh, an event within the life of a project that designates some uh, major forward progress or possibly an external uh, inspection may need to occur or a customer notification or some, something to uh, designate a significant amount of the work has been accomplished. I had the sample project up right now. It only has 15 activities and it uh, revolves around the building of a sports arena or a stadium. And if I'm looking for milestones, I see the set of four activities here, these four that uh, all have to do with creating the field, site clearing, subsurface drainage, fill the field, and then install the artificial turf. So if I want to put a milestone at the completion of this series, there are two ways. First way is I could double click on this and open up the advanced menu and at the bottom I see the opportunity to mark this task as a milestone so we can identify a critical task within the project and just tag it as a milestone. When I do that notice that it changes shapes and additionally if I go into the network diagram view network diagram I will see that it again has changed shape and instead of being the rectangle it actually has points on both ends which identifies that as a milestone. Now the other option for creating a milestone is to actually create a specific milestone and I'm going to create one called uh, Milestone 2. By definition a milestone has a duration of zero so I'm going to set that as 0 D, 0 days, and then I can set exactly when that will occur or I can attach it to a specific activity and what I'll do is I'll say after task number 8 is completed software precedent of number eight, that milestone will occur. And then we see the arrow coming down, and then my milestone is attached right there. And again, if I go into my view network diagram, and let's change this view a little bit so we can see the entire, I'm going to zoom and do entire project. There we go. We see the first milestone that was actually a task, which has been also tagged as a milestone, and you can see the milestone date noted here as well as the task information. Over here, this one is actually a milestone just of itself, and it has the same designation with the points on both ends. Go back to our view Gantt chart. Now if you notice, there already was another milestone here designated, and it's floating out here by itself. This is when a penalty begins, so I wanted to highlight in within the schedule that if we aren't completed on time, any work completed after 2.15 will incur a penalty. So that's the way to peg a date out in the future is to also call that a milestone. Now milestones can have a duration. Technically they don't, but if your milestone is that you need to, uh, uh, you've completed a phase and you need to attain a customer approval or customer inspection, it'll take three or four days, then you could put a milestone customer inspection and put it as three days. So you do have that option. So give that a try.